In activity 11, water pollution, students observe the effects of pollution on an underwater ecosystem. They first observe a healthy underwater ecosystem. Then they isolate some water plants, algae, and daphnia in containers of spring water and add pollutants. Finally, students infer the effects of pollution on an underwater ecosystem. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity sheet 11, aquariums from activity 10, plastic dishes, magnifiers, algae, daphnia, droppers, plastic spoons, and masking tape. You will also need to provide crayons, liquid detergent, vegetable oil, paper towels, pictures of water pollution, and spring water. To prepare for session one, make a copy of activity sheet 11 for each student. Cut out pictures of water pollution from magazines and newspapers. Place the containers of Daphne and algae, the bottles of vegetable oil and liquid detergent, two droppers, two spoons, a jug of spring water, and paper towels at a distribution station. Each team will need two plastic dishes, two magnifiers, and some crayons. To begin session one, have the teams retrieve their aquariums and observe the general good health of the plants and animals that live in them. Students should observe that the water is clear, not cloudy, the sand is white, the anacharis and duckweed continue to grow, and the fish and snails are active and may have reproduced. Distribute pictures of water pollution to the class and ask, would you like to go swimming in this water? Students will probably say no because it is very dirty. Tell students that pollution is something that makes water, land, or air dirty. Explain that a lot of the water on Earth has become dirty because people have put things into it that do not belong there. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 11 to each student and the materials plus two pieces of tape to each team of four. Instruct students to label their dishes oil and soap. Have students half fill their dishes with spring water. Then have them add several dropperfuls of algae and a dropperful of daphnia to each dish. Next, tell them to break off two sprigs of anacharis from their aquariums and place one in each dish along with a small amount of duckweed plants. Have them draw what they see in their dishes in the top box on Activity Sheet 11. Next, supervise students as they add 10 drops of vegetable oil to one dish and 10 drops of detergent to the other. Tell them to stir the water with a plastic spoon so that the plants are completely covered by the oil and detergent. Ask students, what does the water in your dishes look like now? Students will observe the oil begin to separate and float to the surface of the water and cling to the leaves. The dish of detergent may contain soap bubbles. Inform students that the water in their dishes has now been polluted, although the particular substances in these dishes are harmless for them to touch with their fingers. Ask them to dip their fingers in each dish and observe how each liquid feels. Students will observe that the water in the dish containing oil feels slimy, and the water in the dish of detergent feels slippery. Next, explain that oil and detergent are two substances that are often found in oceans, lakes, and rivers. Students may know from watching the news on television that oil sometimes spills into water when oil tankers leak. Add that oil also ends up in water when people pour motor oil down the drain or when Rain washes it off roads. Go on to explain that the detergent and water used to wash clothes and dishes go down the drain and into the sewer. If the water is not cleaned or if the sewer pipes leak, the soapy water can end up in nearby lakes, rivers, and streams. To conclude session one, tell students they are going to observe the effect of oil and detergent on the plants and animals in their dishes in session two. Rinse the droppers and wash and rinse the plastic spoons. Return them along with the magnifiers to the kit. Collect Activity Sheet 11 and save it for Session 2. To prepare for Session 2, each student will need his or her copy of Activity Sheet 11. Each team of four will need their dishes of polluted water, two magnifiers, some crayons, and some paper towels. To begin Session 2, return Activity Sheet 11 to students and distribute the materials to each team. Then ask, what has happened to the plants and animals in your dishes? There should be an oily coating on the plants in one dish and a filmy coating on the plants in the other. In both dishes, the plants have wilted, perhaps turned yellow and died. The daphnia may also be dead. Have students draw what they see in their dishes at the bottom of Activity Sheet 11. Next, inform students that the oil and the detergent are two types of pollution. Help students recall that plants and animals need air, water, and food to survive. Then ask students, 
What do you think happens to the plants and animals in oceans, lakes, and rivers when oil, detergent, and other kinds of pollution are dumped into them? They should understand that the plants and animals eventually die. Finally, tell students that in the next activity, they're going to take a field trip to a local body of water to observe some of the plants and animals that live there and to look for signs of pollution. To conclude the activity, flush the contents of the plastic dishes down the toilet. Wash the dishes and return them and the magnifiers to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.